Welcome back, Bachelor Nation. We're finishing up the semifinal episode of this season of The Bachelor with our final three contestants here. James here is going to select his final two contestants that are going to compete for his love in the final episode of this season on The Bachelor. James, you have an important decision at hand. I hope you make a good one. Um, what are you thinking about right now? Well, I'm really, I'm really excited. I thought about it a lot. I'm ready, ready to make this decision so I can move on with the dates. All right. Well, let's see your um your final two decisions. Okay. With this first rose, I would like to give it to Ella. Ella, will you accept this rose? Yes. With the second rose, I would like to give it to Abby. Abby, will you accept this rose? Yes. I just felt like I had a very strong connection with those two, and I'm excited for the next few days. I hope you don't come to regret your decision. Um, we will see you guys in the final. Ellen and Abby are just amazing girls. These past few weeks with them has really opened my heart and showed me what's truly in it. Picking who I'm going to get down on one knee and propose to you to spend the rest of my life with is going to be really, really hard. Like, super duper hard. But you've only known them for three weeks. How do you know if they're the one? Uh, I mean... We went on a few dates, you know, every, all the other ones have found their true love, right? Actually, I think that the success rate for these marriages is less than 2%. Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Ella, and I'm one of James' finalists. And if he sends me home on live television, I might actually put my head into the oven. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm one of James's final girls, and I'm so excited. I think the shrine in my room really worked, and I'm finally one of his finalists. I really hope he picks me. Okay, so we're about to go on our date. I'm really excited. Um, I hope he knows that I'm the one for him. This date will show him for sure. So yeah, I'm really excited. Well, I'm about to go on a date with Abby. Really excited for this. Really nervous. This one has to go good because if it doesn't, well, it's going to go good. We're, we're going to be good. This is like the Holocaust section. <gasps> the kite runner? I don't know what to pick. There's so many options. Okay. Shh, I brought you here to be quiet. I brought her to the library because I knew she'd have to be quiet. A couple days ago, I figured out a way to combine the bathrobe experience and the heating vent experience. I don't think... Oh, is everything okay? Yeah. I'm just putting my boat. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, how do you feel about us? I mean, I'm just going to... It's a good date, and you know, it's a good place, relatively quiet. Really? Yeah. I think it's a good date. Oh, let's go to the library. Let's go to the library. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in trouble. Okay, so we're on the date, and I think it's going good. I think I'm having a good time. But he might not be having the best time. He's acting a little weird, but I think he's just doing that because he really likes me, and he's just really nervous around me. Oh my god. This is. It'll be alright. We'll just finish the date. Thank you. I had a really great time. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> oh. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. So I'm super excited to go on this dinner date today with James. I'm thinking I might open up and tell him how I really feel about him, and I hope he does the same, because if he doesn't, I might actually just pass out right there, and he better count his days. What, what do you mean by that exactly? Um, I just mean that he better count his days. I woke up this morning, you know, I'm really excited for this dinner date with Ella. Really excited to get to know her better and see how it goes, and, and yeah. So, how are you just feeling about everything lately? It's... It's been, it's been fun. I've enjoyed my time. I mean, it's going to be a tough decision, I guess. But we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. What are you checking on your phone? Oh, I was just checking the time. Oh. Um, we, did we get around, out of here around like 2? 
think 330. 330, oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah. do you think I'll be the one at the end of this? Uh, it'll definitely, like I said, it'll be a hard decision, you know. There's a lot of problems with both of you, but <laughs> I'm just playing, but, um. I mean, what yeah. are you thinking about everything? Like I said, it's just going to be a hard decision, I, I guess. I mean, I think I'm going to be the one at the end of this. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll just have to see, I guess, but, yeah. I feel like we're just really far apart right now. Oh. Why are you moving away from me? Well, I just, it's better for the, the camera crew, because better shots. Okay, I mean, I feel like we should be closer together. We're on our date. Well... You know, we're trying to get a good projection, you know, the, you know. So I think this date is going really well. Um, we both have opened up about each other. And I just think that at the end of this, it's going to end up really well. <sighs> this is, this is weird. I had such a great time tonight. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. I can't wait to see you at the finale. Me either, because I know I'm going to be the one at the end of this. Perfect. Well, that date really showed me what's in my heart, and I think this decision is going to be a lot easier. I mean, I just I did not have a great time. So after our date, James walked me out to the car to tell me goodbye for the evening. Um, he told me that he didn't think the date went really well, but I thought it went well. Welcome back, Bachelor Nation. After two dates, many interviews, and a lot of heartbreak, we're here at the finale of season 17 of The Bachelor. We're here with James. Um, he's put a lot of thought and deliberation into what his final decision is going to be. We've given him one rose, and he is now going to decide between Ella and Abby who his final date is going to be in this final episode of The Bachelor. So James, I hope that you've put a lot of thought into this, and we will see what your final decision ends up being. After another painstaking episode of high stakes dates and kind of hard to watch content, to be honest, uh, we're here at the finale of The Bachelor. We're here with James. He's put a lot of deliberation into who his final contestant is going to be and who he's going to ultimately hand his final rose to and marry and spend the rest of his life with. Um, I hope that you've put a lot of thought into this, James, um, and I'm, I'm eager to, to see what your final decision is. Yes, sir, I definitely put in a lot of thought, went on a lot of dates, spent a lot of time with these contestants. It's taught me a lot about relationships in life, and probably the biggest thing it taught me was, I don't even think I like girls. Mr. Producer, will you accept this rose? Are you serious? Yes, sir. Of course I will accept this rose. Will you marry me? Yes, of course I'll marry you. What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> and with that, Chris and James went off into the sunset, never to be seen again. I might actually burn my head. <laughs> no, wait, no! Do you want to do like the question? <laughs> me, me, me! I just know it. I just know it. I just know it. They're both kind of annoying. <laughs> nice. We have three contestants left, and Justin is just about to decide who his two finalists are going to be. James, not Justin. 